I'm Dr. Clyde Cave, Director of Medical Services at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I've recently had the opportunity to watch a video which is in circulation on social media. No doubt you have all seen it too, in which a patient who is in isolation in our accident and emergency department, waiting for the results of his COVID test, shares his experience. I obviously cannot comment on details of any individual patient, but this is already in the public sphere, and many of the issues raised, I think, are relevant to people who will be coming to our accident and emergency department. So I take this opportunity first to thank him for sharing his experience. It could not be easy to go public um, with such a personal and uncomfortable experience, but I firmly believe that he did it um, for the better good. I also wish to thank him for his analysis of the many factors which went into his long wait there, and in particular to thank him for recognizing that the staff in our accident and emergency department did everything to look after him. There are many challenges to our accident and emergency department at the best of times, but during a battle against COVID, as we are fighting now, things have to be done differently. Our first obligation is always to our patient and to their family. But we also have a responsibility to patients within the department, to our staff, and also to the broader community. And whenever we are dealing with an infectious disease, this causes differences in the way that the department must operate. When you decide to come to the accident and emergency department, the first thing we ask is for you to call our help desk. That facility is staffed by physicians and nurses who can guide you and provide first aid. You reach them by calling 536-4800 and then follow their directions. On arrival at the accident and emergency department, the first point of contact will be what we call triage. At that point, your temperature will be taken and a list of questions asked. On this basis, it will then be determined whether there is a potential for an infectious um, disease or whether you can be cared for along another pathway. If we have any concern at all about an infection, you will be looked after in an area where we minimize spread. While you wait in our accident and emergency department in the isolation area, we will ensure that your medical needs are all addressed. During this time, however, you may have a COVID swab, and while we await those results, we acknowledge that our facility was not designed for long-term isolation. We realize that there have been unacceptable delays and we have worked with our other partners in finding a new system that will expedite testing and therefore shorten the delay um, of patients waiting for results in our accident and emergency department. Once we have those results, patients will then be transferred to the isolation center if there is a need because there is a COVID infection or be admitted into the general hospital, which we are making every effort to keep COVID free. We thank you for your understanding as we all work together, not just to provide the best individual care, but also to address the concerns in the community and of our staff. We stand always ready to provide the best care to patients in Barbados who have accidents and emergencies. I'm Dr. Clyde Cave, Director of Medical Services at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital.